Palmar hyperhidrosis is a condition characterized by excessive sweating of the palms. It's caused by hyperactive sweat glands in the hands. This isn't just about sweaty hands on a hot day. People with this condition experience uncontrollable sweating. It can happen even in cool environments or when calm. The condition can be socially and emotionally distressing. It interferes with daily activities. Simple actions like shaking hands or writing can be challenging. Palmer hyperhidrosis is a recognized medical condition. It significantly affects quality of life. The exact causes of Palmer hyperhidrosis remain unclear, but it affects millions globally. It is associated with an overactive sympathetic nervous system, which regulates many involuntary functions. This system controls our fight or flight response, preparing us for stressful situations. In Palmer hyperhidrosis, it overreacts, causing excessive sweating even in non-stressful situations. The primary symptom is excessive palm sweating, which can be both uncomfortable and embarrassing. Sweat may drip from the hands, complicating everyday tasks. This can affect gripping objects, using touchscreens and writing, significantly impacting daily activities. Persistent moisture can lead to skin issues like maceration, where the skin becomes soft and damaged. Palmar hyperhidrosis can affect anyone. It often begins in childhood or adolescence. It affects men and women equally. There is a strong genetic component. A family history increases your risk. Many people have no family history. Section 4. Social and Professional Impact Palmar hyperhidrosis significantly impacts both social and professional life. Excessive sweating often leads to embarrassment and heightened social anxiety. Many individuals avoid social gatherings to prevent awkward situations. In the workplace, it can hinder performance in tasks requiring precision. This is particularly problematic for jobs involving fine motor skills or frequent handshakes. Section 5. Treatment Options, ETS and Beyond We will explore the latest treatment options for managing Palmar hyperhidrosis, from medications to surgical procedures. One option is medication. Anticholinergics can help reduce excessive sweating by targeting the sweat glands. Antiperspirants with aluminum chloride can reduce sweating and are often the first line of defense. Doctors may prescribe nerve-blocking medications like glycopyrrolate, which can be effective for some patients. Endoscopic thoracic sympathectomy, or ETS, is a more invasive option but can provide long-term relief. This procedure disrupts the sympathetic nerves that control hand sweating, significantly reducing excessive sweating. ETS is highly effective, with many patients experiencing immediate and lasting relief. However, it is a major surgery with potential side effects, including compensatory hyperhidrosis and other surgical risks. Section 6 Botox for Palmar Hyperhidrosis, not an option. Botox is known for treating excessive sweating, effective for other body areas but not FDA approved for palms. It can cause muscle weakness in palms, making daily tasks difficult. Discuss all treatment options with your doctor. Decide together on the best treatment. Researching treatments empowers you. Ask questions and get all information. With guidance, manage your condition. Options include medications and lifestyle changes. Finding the right solution takes time. Aim to improve quality of life and confidence. Living with Palmar hyperhidrosis can be challenging, but there are effective ways to cope and find support. Here are some updated strategies to help manage the condition daily. Use clinical strength antiperspirants designed for hands. These are available over the counter and can significantly reduce sweating. Keep hands dry with absorbent pads or wipes. Practice stress-reducing techniques like deep breathing, meditation, or yoga. Stress can exacerbate sweating, so staying calm is beneficial. Connect with others who have Palmar hyperhidrosis. Online forums and support groups offer a space to share experiences and tips. Hearing from others can provide comfort and new ideas. Communicate openly with your healthcare provider. They may suggest treatments like iontophoresis, Botox injections, or surgery. By adopting these strategies and seeking support, you can manage Palmar hyperhidrosis more effectively. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe, like, comment and share it. Feel free to post it on your social media accounts. We appreciate all our current subscribers and those who are still deciding.
This video is for educational purposes only. For the latest information on palmar hyperhidrosis, consult a healthcare provider. If you found this video helpful, please like, comment, share, and subscribe for more content.